Regular viewers of my content know that my main focus is on the SmartThings app. Recently, I've been evaluating the Homey Pro Hub. I've begun to produce Homey-related content wherein I compare and contrast the capabilities of the Homey Hub to the SmartThings Hub. If this is something that interests you, be sure to subscribe and set those notifications. In today's episode, I'll present eight Homey apps that I've discovered thus far during my review of the Homey Hub. Some of the apps that I selected may be of particular interest to those who are contemplating a switch from the SmartThings ecosystem. Let's dive into these eight apps to learn more about their capabilities. We'll begin with the Amazon Alexa app. You can expect an upcoming video in which I'll be featuring this app. This app permits you to add and control your Amazon Echo devices within Homey. It gives you the ability to have your Echo devices speak, whisper, or announce detailed phrases. You can control media selections and volume levels. You can also trigger weather, news, or traffic reports. The feature I enjoy the most is using flows to make announcements with customized voices. These are only a few of the many capabilities of this app. The next app is the Heimdall app. The Heimdall app enables you to use your Homey Hub as a surveillance system. You can select specific motion and door contact sensors to be controlled by this app. Events triggered while the Heimdall app is in a surveillance mode will activate an alarm state. Heimdall provides three surveillance modes, disarmed, armed and partially armed, which will sound familiar to those who are using the SmartThings Home Monitor. By the way, if you're wondering why the app is called Heimdall, I suspect it's because Heimdall was the name of an old Norse god who keeps watch for invaders. He is confirmed to possess foreknowledge and keen senses, particularly eyesight and hearing. In other words, he's very good in the area of surveillance. The Homey Community Space app is the third app on my list. This app is necessary to install the Homey Community Store. The Homey Community Store is an alternative store for installing apps which were created by community developers and which are not part of the official Homey Store. One of the apps which I obtained from the Homey Community Store is the SmartThings 2 app. More about that app in just a moment. The Homey Community Space is also a place for Homey users to ask questions. The Homey Community Space app will be featured in an upcoming video wherein I will provide steps necessary for installing and connecting to the Homey Store. Next is the SmartThings 2 app. The SmartThings 2 app allows you to connect your SmartThings hub via a Samsung SmartThings personal access token. Doing so provides you the ability to view and control devices within the Homey app. I am currently using my SmartThings devices within Homey Flows. I'm getting some valued experience as I replicate and enhance some of my existing SmartThings routines. I'll be doing a deep dive into the SmartThings 2 app in an upcoming video. My next recommended app is the SharpTools app. The SharpTools app is an official Homey app. I suspect that many of you are already familiar with this app. If you're not familiar, it allows you to create dashboards for your smart devices and it provides easy access for control of your devices from any web browser. I'm considering a video that shows the setup process between the Homey and Sharp Tools apps. If this is something of interest to you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. The sixth app on my list is the Virtual Devices app. This app will be featured in an upcoming video. This app gives you the ability to add virtual devices to Homey. You can operate the virtual devices from the Homey app and or use them in flows. The app contains both virtual switches and virtual modes. The seventh app on my list is the Smart Presence app. The Smart Presence app enables tracking of member devices via each phone's IP address. The app requires a static IP address be set up on your home router to be able to track presence. This approach to presence sensing allows the detection of guests without the need for them to install the Homey app. The app includes instructions for setup. I am using Smart Presence to detect member-specific arrivals within flows to trigger actions specific to that member. The eighth Homey app on my list is the Ring Security app. 
Although I have not fully researched all of the capabilities of this app, I elected to include it due to the popularity of ring alarm devices within the SmartThings community. Per the Homey Community Store, with this official Homey app, you can use the ring keypad to set the surveillance modes that are used within the Heimdall security app. That concludes my list of apps that I'm enjoying thus far. You can be sure that I'll be offering much more related content in future episodes. Remember to subscribe so not to miss this content. And as always, I appreciate you joining me today. Until we meet again, remember to stay smart and stay connected.